Warning, if the video, title, and description went over your head, let me be really clear on what you're about to watch. This is a backyard hunting video, which helps keep the population of pests under control. The bonus, some of these guys actually taste pretty dang good. If hunting and pest control offend you, don't watch, simple. So with that behind us, let's get on with the video. Eggman Leshy presents Chipmunk Hunting, a glance into my personal backyard pest war. What the actual fuck? I need to explain this to folks who've long supported this channel, but if you're new here, I have a different level of infestation. Uh, don't be fooled by the simpleton snowflakes that you might see in the comments saying it's because I'm baiting them. Or don't be that guy going down there and writing that. No, they're already here and they're here in force, clearly. Uh, climbing up on my windows, trying to find new ways into the house after I plugged up and repaired their old entry points. This time of year, however, it's all hands on deck for chipmunks. Uh, dealing with them early results in just a few cruising through the garden all summer. Harmless and totally fine by me. If they go unchecked, however, during this kind of late spring, early summer, that's when you get this. Chipmunks climbing up in your screen doors looking for cozy places to go den up. All right, let's get back to what you probably clicked on this video to see. A little backyard pew pew. I pulled this first shot that you'll see here in a second, and I knew I needed to send another. And the follow-up shot, I totally redeemed myself, at least in my opinion, by tucking it into a small gap uh, in the feeder and right into the vitals. These guys are really small and super anxious. Uh, I saw things down quite a bit on this channel uh, so that you guys can see the pellet, um, but that's at the expense of being able to gauge just how fast and jittery um, and quick they really are so you cannot hesitate and sometimes which you'll see here in a second uh, even if you're perfect they find a way to survive all right let me tell you a little bit about the tools I'm gonna be using in this video I always forget to do this and I end up just answering a whole bunch of the same question uh, in the comments so I'm gonna proactively do it this time uh, I'll be using both leshies in this video uh, the pink one is the 250 millimeter classic leshy in 22, I've got uh, the 22 Monster redesigns, which is a ginormous pellet, uh, especially for a 250 millimeter barrel, but it shoots great. And I got it shooting at 530 feet per second. This is actually my daughter's gun uh, and something I have tuned for small critters when I use it, which is frequently because I love it. Uh, the Desert Tan, uh, Leshy Classic in 350 millimeter uh, configuration, shooting uh, 25 cal JSB Kings at around 600 feet per second. Both tuned really low as far as the capabilities of this gun um, for a couple reasons. One, it's insanely quiet, which you'll hear here in a second. But two, uh, it's safe uh, for backyard pew pew and plenty of giddy up for uh, small little critters. Finally, uh, I have the Eggun Lelia 2.0 shooting 25 cal. Uh, 34 grain JSB MK2s, Ooh, that's a mouthful, uh, at around 550 feet per second. Uh, I'll be moving the optic, the same optic between all of these guns as I put the US Optics TS 3x12X with the MHR reticle, which I love and I'll talk a little bit about uh, later in this video, and I really put it through its paces. Uh, Joe from over at Cyclops Videos channel and I are doing a collaboration work, and it's actually a review of this scope. So I'll put a link at the top of the description uh, to part one of this review uh, where Joe takes you through a thorough review of the scope uh, in only a way that Joe can. Uh, so go check that out. And then my part uh, is to build upon that and give you guys some real life views down the glass uh, during hunting and pest control situations. So I'll throw a link to Egg Gun West's website. Uh, where you can snag one of these if you guys like what you see. Um, if you guys want to see more of this from Joe and I, let us know in the comments and let us know what you want us to review. I have the Tacticam 5.0 cameras downrange per the usual, uh, and then I'll be using the Eagle Vision scope mount for the GoPro camera so I can really slow things down for you as it films in 240 frames per second at a full 1080p. Uh, with this ultra compact scope though, 
uh, it can be really hard sometimes to get the reticle uh, to focus. And honestly, I kind of prefer that as I think reticles get in the way of good scope cam videos. Um, I'll edit one in from time to time like I do in this clip. But this particular reticle, which they call the MHR, is super clean. It comes in a couple of other ones uh, that Joe talks about. But this is the one that they sent me and I love it. Um, it, it just has a few hold uh, under points. And that gives, it kind of results in a real clear uh, sight picture as well as great footage if you're filming. I've noticed that when I'm baiting these chipmunks, uh, they like to stay pretty close to the ground. Minus that one that was climbing up my window, but whatever. Uh, so I set up a few areas uh, to throw some peanuts down and to keep them occupied long enough. The Japanese glass in the TS series is big bang for the buck in my opinion. Um, scope cams are prisms essentially that split the available light between the camera and your eye. So what you're seeing is about 75% of the light. So you'll just have to kind of take my word for it uh, how sick uh, this is to look down. So I shoot so much through digital scopes and I'm always floored when I come back to glass, especially high quality one like this. I'm gonna rewatch this one again. I caught this guy with a mouthful and it was just lights out. I didn't quite have this next one zeroed very well uh, when I moved it over to the Lelia, uh, but I got away with it. Uh, well, you really don't need half the energy I'm using here. Uh, there's no way you could go any slower as uh, they would just fully dodge the pellet. These guys have incredibly fast uh, reflexes. When the Leshy 2 arrives, I'll probably move one of the Leshy Classics I have to a lighter 22 pellet or even a 177 uh, that I can shoot them faster and they won't be able to matrix me. Speaking of that, here's exhibit A. You tell me, you think this was a matrix or a headshot? It happened so fast. If you guessed matrix, you were right. Man, those things are fast. I'll slow this one down quite a bit um, so you can see it jump. In fairness, it looks like it starts to move just as I'm pulling the trigger, but still, this has some amazing reflexes. The foliage is really coming in and I need to keep these shooting lanes pretty clean. Um, I was able to stick one through the lettuce and right into the meat on this one, but I typically don't like to shoot through anything. A few leaves though are no big deal. I didn't get a side angle shot on this one, but you can see the pellet impact and snap its spine. The momentum took it a few inches off camera, uh, but it was an instant humane shot.
I did get the Tacticam cameras going in time to capture this one. Uh, you'll see some impressive energy transfer as this just snaps off and sends this guy doing backflips. It didn't hurt either. This was just perfect shot placement right in the ear. Back to Mr. Pink on this one. It's lobbing in these 22 monster hand grenades. Watch as it empties the pouches on this guy. Whoa, that was a peanut chipper explosion. If you've got any questions on this scope, uh, hit me up in the comments uh, and make sure to check out Joe's video as well. Stay tuned for something really special from Joe and I that we've got coming. I'm laughing because every time I see this clip that he sent me, um, I can't stop laughing. But here's one more for you with a little hint on why I'm chuckling. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, damn. I didn't know that was coming. Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. More, 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 more. Show more angles. More up close. Oh, this oh wow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shoot something else. For the love of God, shoot something else. Backyard hunting helps keep the population of potential pest animals under control. The bonus? Some of these guys taste pretty dang good. So here's one of my all-time favorite squirrel recipes. Press pause to get the full details.